Um, obviously, you see the crowd. A lot of folks came out in support of uh, the First Amendment. A lot of people came out in support of Chief Crockham. Uh, there was a meeting that was supposed to occur tonight. It did not happen. It wasn't appropriately advertised, and our attorney informed us that it was uh, one of those meetings that uh, he just said probably shouldn't happen uh, simply because it doesn't meet the requirements of the Open Meetings Act. That was his uh, opinion, and so that's, uh, that's why I stayed out here. I have no comprehension as to why uh, the individuals that were inside behind closed doors couldn't step out and have that meeting out here. That's all we want. Um, at the end of the day, transparent government is what we should be about. If we're going to engender people's trust in government, then we need to be transparent. And when you don't do it openly like that, it builds distrust. So we should be about the people's business and, and, and do what we're supposed to do by the light of day. Uh, the city of Denver just made a post on their uh, uh, Facebook page uh, saying that uh, due to lack of quorum, the city council meeting has been canceled. Were you informed of any such post or any reason why? Or No. Okay. And then, since it is canceled, is there a date moving forward when it should be rescheduled? Our next scheduled meeting is next Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Our attorney tells me that he's going to get the appropriate advertising done so that it can be a teleconference meeting, you know, unless we stop being under the governor's orders as they are currently written. We'll go forward from there next Tuesday and have that meeting. Uh, there'll be plenty of uh, advance notice for everybody to be able to participate, uh, at least by watching at home. But I still don't understand why we can't do and conduct the city's business uh, out here when you have public here that uh, are interested, deeply interested, in what's going on in their government. Compared to a regular, a regular meeting for the city council, seeing this amount of public outreach and public response. I asked for an officer to escort her out, so they're fixing to come out and go. I don't know which way they're going to go, but here comes the officers now. Um, it's been brought to my attention that uh, the city of Demarest, uh, which would be the city manager, says we regret that our city council work session could not be held tonight. Mayor Rick Austin and the city attorney refused to join the meeting. Councilman Moore and Councilman Davis attended in person. Councilman Hendricks was teleconferenced in. Councilman Moore left saying he would not continue to attend without legal <laughs> counsel present. With his exit, there was no quorum, leaving no choice but to cancel the meeting. You know, I find it laughable when all they got to do is walk out of those doors, step out here and have a public meeting and get this thing done. So if they're going to blame anybody, they need to turn their fingers back on themselves and blame themselves. We've got a public that's been out here for better than two hours, some of them better than three, and we can't have a public meeting? Are you hungry? We still want to feed you. I mean, because we're going to hang out, but we don't want you to go without food in there. If I sit it at the door, will you get it? I don't want the ants to get on it. Yeah, she blamed it on Rick. Um, that she said, it's the mayor. It's the mayor. Yeah. I looked at her. She got in the car. I said, you understand he's a good man, right? She's like, I know. I said, why are you doing this to him? It's the mayor. It's all the mayor.
So, this car is going to be a good one. I didn't have a non open meeting. You know, I, I set up a stage. You know, I'm not even going to tell my wife how much I paid for that stage. You know, I have it set well, up. She, 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 she put it back down again. So. She's scared to death. I can tell you that. You got two council members that got hired in. Got elected in. I think they hired him. Elected in. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's turn that around a minute. Hang on. She may be being ugly, being the telling the truth. Let's go law enforcement on it. If she's saying it's the mayor, maybe she's not meaning that they fired Robin. She fired Robin because of the mayor. She fired him because those guys don't like the mayor. Then it's then she's telling the truth, right? For a fact, one of them at least has a personal vendetta against the mayor. And that's from outside looking I've told my wife, I don't know how many times, I'm, I'm tired of watching my friends. And that's the people that I work with and all of y'all be collateral damage and personal vendettas, personal animosity towards me. They should step up and toe the line and tell me they don't like me for what reason they don't like me. But stop taking that out on my friends. You, when you've been the most boisterous that gets this whole thing. So the only obvious answer to that is they don't like you, and that's they're trying to dismantle what you brought. And they hurt a good man and his family along the way, and they're hurting the good citizens of this of this city and our community. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. Come on to the house. Yeah. Bear, you need anything, brother? Thank you. Thank you. I got huge respect for all of y'all. You don't mind chasing down somebody. <laughs>